Hello, Joe. This is me making a YouTube clip for you. No, they're not. YouTube clip for you on how to do the Weber. Here's the Weber. In the Weber. You have these trays. These. These little holes are open in the bottom. Okay. Now we get some trays. Let me put the trays. We need. This is my husband. Oh. He's not allowed to touch the Weber. This is for Joanne. This is Joanne's tutorial on how to do a Weber. A Mark Weber. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you for a moment. Okay. Now I've popped the tray inside here. And that goes in the middle dish and that's going to help catch the fat. Now, these are the beads I was telling you about, which are easy light beads. They were eleven dollars in Woolies. These ones here might be cheaper. They're just heat beads, but often you need to have those little um, fire lighters underneath. So I'm going to use the easy light beads because I'm going to be lazy and it takes a lot quicker, it takes longer to burn to light it. Alright, I'm going to pause you now while I do what I've got to do. Now we're back. I've filled up the two sides trays with the beads. So I'm not sure how many are in it, but I've still got. Probably a little bit left in the pack. I just filled it to the top of the tray sort of thing. Um, it won't really matter. Just as long as you have a lot in there, I guess. Alright, then you're going to put this baby back on. And I will come back when I'm ready to light it. Okay, this is my pork. This is what I do with my pork. So, when you order a pork, I usually get it from the market. Make sure you get them to score it. Which is cutting the bit cuts in there for you. Um, that's about two kilos, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I just look at a big piece and go, yep, that's a piece. So, uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it a bit more because I think you did a very good job. And then I'm going to cover, oh, I'm going to pour boiling water on it. And what happens with the boiling water is it opens, opens all the opens all the cuts inside here up and then when you rub the oil and the salt in it can get in easier and make a good crackle and make a good crackle correct jay as it dries joe it opens up now i'll just let it sit for a little bit too oh. To dry a little bit more to, and before I put the uh, salt and the oil all over it. Okay, okay now what I do first actually is the bit of oil. So put some oil. Making sure your hands are clean. Right. Okay, and then Jay, can you uh, feel what I'm doing and not yourself? Come on, that again. And we the better the crackle. Don't let Paul know because you know he likes to think this is all healthy. What he can't see, he doesn't know. Alright, we put lots and lots and lots and lots of salt in there and more oil. So when you think you've got enough salt and enough oil, then you add more because you won't have because it's pretty disgusting. You want this little piggy to come crackle, crackle, crackle. Okay. So that, there she is, little baby. Ready to go into the weather. So if you could just pause it, Jay. All right, Jo, now this is how you heat these beads. Don't forget these, the ones I'm using are the easy, easy light ones. So, all goes well. Which doesn't often happen. They should just light. Like this.
Oh, now she's off and running. So now, what you do is you put your tray back on. It's really only really touching. Watch, and I've already told her the air hole story. Don't pretend you know, Paul. Don't pretend you know. So there we go. Making sure there's no trees above you. You know, I don't want the house on fire or anything. And then, when it burns down, it stops flaming, I'll put the lid on. Alright, I'll be back when it settles down. Okay, now that we've come back and the flames died down, we make sure that it's starting to go like a charcoal. So you see the white bits on it, that means it's caught on. So then we get the lid, and this is the tricky bit. You put the lid on. The tricky bit now is to stop people opening the bloody barbecue. Okay, so come back in probably half an hour, make sure they're all catching on, and then you put your meat on. Right. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, now this is the pork ready to go on. So the idea is to keep the heat inside the barbecue. So you need to put it on. <laughs> Shut and now we do not touch this for about two hours. Now, Joe, this is the end result of the pork. Okay, and you have a timer thing that tells you you can use one of these things and you can read that and it'll tell you when it's ready. All right.